Hello, how you going? I'm just out, gonna pick somebody up and I've got a spare couple of minutes so I thought I'd stop by the side of the road and do some study. Yeah. I love doing that. You know, I've got a bit of spare time. I can use it. Hello, this is another HSC ATAR high performance tip. Uh, this comes from the Monash Uni students and that tip is to do with the weird thing I'm doing now. I've got some study notes here with me to study. Did you know one thing that the smart performer who's called Ariel did during her HSC was exactly that. She says, you don't have to be at your desk to study. So use in between time as much as you can to get your, your time back to study. You actually use any of your minutes or hours that you've freed up through travel time or other things to rack up the hours that you need to do better in subjects, right? And you do need hours, remember. Memorization, learning concepts, practice, it, it, it takes time. It's an hours long thing to improve every subject. So what's her smart advice? You've got, you've got an hour freed up from uh, picking someone up, like I'm doing now, or a train trip, or you might be babysitting uh, your, your little sister or someone else's kids. You might arrive early to meet someone. See, any of those things have a bit of empty time in them. So Ariel said, take study tasks along with you that can fit into that little time. You've got two hours, why don't you save some summaries for that time, bring it with you, then knock it over while you're on your own waiting and sitting around. You can do that and actually just make use of those times away from your desk, but she does remind you, You've got to have stuff in your bag ready with you to go. So you'll need a bag with your laptop, your notes, your tablet, you know, the study notes you're working on. Keep it with you so you're ready to go. All right, that advice is from Ariel. Second bit of advice is from Samuel. I'm just gonna pull up the road for Samuel's advice. Okay. Uh, I hope I'm uh, concentrating well enough while I'm driving because you know what, I'm a bit tired today. Samuel Schlegel's advice when he was doing his HSC, that's better, was it's very important to pay attention to sleep. He says, smart needs sleep. What's he mean? You may need to give up some of the late night hours that, let's face it, you're all spending right now to study. Now, that feels like a bit of a, oh, a, bit of a, a, a clash, doesn't it? If I give up some of my late night hours of study, isn't that a waste? A waste of time. Well, it might mean wasting some of those times you've got in the quiet hours in the middle of the night, but Samuel reminds you the quality of the study that you do followed by a decent stretch of sleep is usually higher. It's a higher quality. I'm a teacher in science and I know that the reason for that is actually the way the brain makes memories. You need adequate sleep because sleep downtime is the processing time to lay out memories into your neural pathways. If you give it a short, that is if you short your brain a good amount of sleep, research has shown the quality of storage is less because your brain is surviving and just trying to, and you will often actually have lower retention of what you learned. So watch the sleep balance. I guess he's trying to show you, yes, some late nights to get through the hours you need to do, but also quality over quantity. Got to keep some good quality so that you remember. The recommended eight hours sleep is a legit thing and it's doable when you balance out life, like we were just saying. Your day's schoolwork can actually fit and then on top of that, you got time for a bit of relaxation, maybe a little bit of gaming, just a little bit, then some study sessions, and then try to end with a full night's sleep. Try not to add little bits that drag on, staying on Facebook Messenger, on oh, late night session with League of Legends on games or whatever. Those other extra things take away the sleep session and look, we don't wanna preach at you, okay, but we are saying, listen to these guys, they performed top marks in uh, got top marks in their ATAR and they've got reasons why they did. One of them is smart needs sleep and don't forget the other one, study wherever you are. Speaking of which, I better get back to study right now. See ya.